Hey, welcome back. Harvard students returned to campus this week without their president, Claudine Gay. Between semesters, the university's first black leader stepped down amid controversy. Now black students at Harvard, once so proud of Gay's appointment, are trying to understand what her fall means for their own futures. Their story is new at 6. What's up, y'all? It's Ruquan, senior at Harvard. His final year at Harvard was set to be the institution's first ever under the leadership of a black president. It really meant something to Ruquan Brown, an African-American studies major. I was inspired. I was inspired to see what Claudine Gay could do. But President Claudine Gay lasted only six months, the shortest leadership tenure in the school's nearly 400-year history. And so for her to no longer be there, I'm devastated. The 21-year-old social media is a diary of his senior year emotions in real time. I was really disappointed. And I shared on my TikTok that I was sad. You said devastated. Devastated. And devastated because I've seen so many black leaders be publicly humiliated, ostracized, and some would even say publicly lynched. Gay resigned after her feckless comments in a congressional hearing about the genocide of Jews and following accusations of plagiarism. Ruquan agrees those missteps require accountability. But prominent voices branding Gay's presidency as an unearned gift of DEI that offends many black students on campus. In a New York Times op-ed, Gay called it racist. In a Harvard Crimson column, senior Kyla Golding described it as familiar. That's often how it goes for black women, she wrote. At the mountaintop, the world robs the black woman of her breath such that the only option is to let the suffocation kill her or to let it kill her dreams. What it means to be black at Harvard is what it means to be black in America. Ruquan says his TikTok posts attracted comments declaring his place at Harvard as unearned, too. How do you respond to that? I don't. Because why? Why? Why do I need to respond to someone who's sitting at home on their couch? There are so many more important things in the world than to try to fight back an idea that I don't deserve. This is the life of a black leader. So, of course, I understand, sympathize, and empathize. Black students we spoke with at Harvard say they saw themselves in the school's first ever black president. They know her struggles. But in the end, the weight of those struggles, self-inflicted or imposed by others, collapsed a history-making appointment in record-setting time. As you know, on-campus activism is at the genesis of the gay firestorm. So it's interesting that Ruquan Brown has created a project called Save the Students. It teaches undergrads everywhere how to use their voices to effectively advocate for the things that they care about.